Hi YouTube, this is our seventh video tutorial of how to program Zelio Logic. In this video tutorial we will show how we will create a start delta motor starter. Let's see the power circuit. Uh, we have to know the steps that we have to create to for our programs. The first step is uh, the KI1 contactor must be energized. The second step is the K1 contactor stays energized and the K2 contactor energized. The third step is the K1 contactor de-energized and K2 contactor remains energized. The next step is the K2 contactor remains energized and the K3 contactor is energized. As usual, if we press the stop button or we have a thermal overload of the motor, we have to stop the motor at any stage. Let's see how we will program this. First of all, we will need inputs, three inputs, one start, one stop and the overload contact. Let's be this the stop input. Let's press OK. This will be the overload input. The overload contact. And here will be the start. The output will be 3. This is the K1, the star contactor, this is K2, the power supply contactor. This is will be K3, the delta contactor. And let's display in the comments. We will need logic, one add function block and one not function block. make our circuit look nicer. It's very important to be our circuit nice and clear. So we, that way we won't mess up anything. We will use a resetable initial step of the FCC function blocks and steps. And what else? Timers. We will use this timer. We, the timer will be reset by this. We and the steps we will start from this and output. We 
will use for the, the first step is we will use an or an or function block. Here we are. Now the first step, the km, km, k1 contactor is, will be energized, or the star contactor is the first. After a few milliseconds, must the power supply contactor to be energized. For testing reasons, we won't, won't use uh, millise milliseconds but we will use uh, seconds so we can check the circuit and then we will configure the times let's say 30 and after let's copy this one more or block with this or we will use for probably it's more nicer to no sorry for my mistake Uh, the second the and uh, the second step the power supply contactor will be energized and the st star contactor let's say for 10 seconds Add the next step, the K1 contactor must be de-energized and be energized only the K2 contactor, the power supply. again more clear our program at the next step as we said they all <coughs> we have one we have more steps At this step, this is the final step. Oops, sorry. That the delta contactor will energize when we reach the final step. still remain energized
we have to reset this timer there is the transition time this is the time that we will be let's say this time will be milliseconds let's say 30 let's first step energized the K1 contactor, second steps both of them, third step only this contactor and fourth step these two contactors. Let's close our loop. And let's use this for the transition. Let's simulate our circuit. Run. Start button. The key. Let's start. Contactor first. Second both. Third step only the power supply contactor and fourth step power supply contactor and data contactor our circuit is correct let's configure the times of the timer let's say the transition will be at one at a hundred milliseconds the first transition and the second transition let's be at hundred milliseconds again let's simulate again our circuit As we see, it's very fast. We can't check the circuit with these values of time. It's hard to do it. We stop. We are OK. We start at any step. Our circuit is implemented as we, wo as we want. We reached our goal. This is our start delta timer, our start, start delta starter. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.